Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. In our last video, we have discussed the introduction and general characters of phylum Polyphera. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss the classification of phylum Polyphera. Remember, phylum Polyphera, the group of poor bearing animals, also called sponges, include Cycon, U. spongia, the bath sponge, U. plectella, spongilla, and hyalonema like members. And this group has been divided into different classes on the basis of presence or absence of different spicules. Remember, spicules are the skeletal materials of poriferans. They are also called sponges. And skeletal materials include spicules as well as fibers. The spicules may be calcareous, that means made up of calcium carbonate, or may be siliceous, means made up of silica. So, on the basis of these structures, phylum Porifera has been divided into three different classes, and they are class Calcarea, class Hyalospongia, and class Demospongia. We have to see their characters one by one in detail. Let us talk about class Calcarea. Calcarea. The name has been derived from the Greek word calx, that means lime. Here, the concept is their spicules are made up of calcium. The members of Calcarea are exclusively marine, marine living in sea. They are solitary or colonial, living singly or found in groups. But they are found in shallow water, shallow, less deep. In them, a spongocele is present. Remember, a spongocele is the central cavity of the body with radially symmetrical body. Canal system is simple or complex. Canal system is the route through which water flows. A skeleton consists of calcareous spicules and this is the most characteristic feature of the group Calcarea having calcareous spicules. Common examples of this group include Cycon, Grancia, Leucosolenia. Here we are seeing the diagram of Cycon. Now come to the next class, Hyalospongia. It has been derived from Greek language in which Hyalos means glassy. They have glass-like transparent body. And that's why they are often known as glass sponge. They are solitary, living singly, and deep marine forms. Remember the previous group, Saloforms. These are deep marine forms. A spongocele is present with a radially symmetrical body. So here also, radial symmetry and with a spongocele. In them, canal system is of complex type, means branched. A skeleton consists of siliceous spicules made up of silica and this feature is one of the important feature of hyalospongia. This group includes Euplectella, the Venus flower basket, Hyalonema, Pheronema, etc. Here we are seeing the diagram of Hyalonema. Now next one. Class Demospongia. Demospongia, name taken from Greek language in which demos means people. In fact, these members are common among people. The example is of bath sponge. These are generally marine, but some are freshwater too. Some members, spongilla freshwater member. They may be solitary or colonial. 
with asymmetrical body means no two sides similar spongocele is entirely absent in these cases spongocele the inner body cavity canal system is of complex type branched way a skeleton present or absent if present it is made up of siliceous spicules or of spongin fibers or a mixture of both so different conditions are found in these members common examples are u spongia bath sponge spongilla the freshwater species calina etc this is all about the classification of phylum porifera in our next video we shall see another phylum cilentreda hope this session was useful stay tuned for upcoming videos see you in the next one thank you